By far the most common building block that you're going to use inside of your builder project is an element. An element is simply a single thing on the page of a website. For example, a paragraph is an element typically on a page. If we click on any page, we'll open up the left-hand menu and see the element tree. Now the element tree is really the body HTML of a page. It's everything that exists on the page that you can see and some things that you can't see. And so as you go down the list here, everything that you see is an element on the page. Most of these are very normal HTML website elements that exist everywhere. Some are builder specific that we have built to make it easier for you to build inside of Builder. Inside of Builder, there's gonna be a few ways that you can add an element at any, any given time. First of all, when you're on a page, you can just click element at the top and then click insert element. Insert itself will always be an option where you can navigate to the element menu. You can also click on any div or container type element in the left-hand side. Div or containers contain other elements that don't typically have anything else in them themselves. And if you click add new child element, it'll pull up the menu option as well. If you click from that in particular, it will let you just click on an element and it will automatically put it at the bottom nested under the specific parent that you had selected. Or even if you click that option and you say, you know what, I actually wanted to drop that somewhere else in the page, you can just click to drag and drop it and put it anywhere on the page that you want. You have an additional option in the studio. If you press shift E, it'll also pull up the drag and drop element menu as well. We'll have individual videos on every single element that exists inside of Builder. The most important thing to know is that all the typical HTML elements that you're used to, a button, a text field, a heading, all exist inside of Builder. Now we've also built some pretty special elements into Builder as well. We've pre-built some things like a color picker that will let you pick a hex color, for example. We've pre-built something like a Google and Twitter authentication button that will automatically on click let a user sign up with you through their Google or Twitter. Now, the last thing to know about any element in Builder is that when you select it and drop it onto the page, you're going to see it come up immediately. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see information about that element. Anytime we've selected any sort of element, the right hand menu will be about that particular element that we see. And so if you're looking at an element, like let's say text, for instance, you're going to see four menus here. You're going to see properties, styling, events, and data. We're going to dive into all of these tabs in the Builder 101. So don't worry that we're not going all the way in right now. But the most important thing to know is that under properties, you're going to find specific information about that particular element. And so this is going to change element to element. For example, we're looking at a header tag right now. So it lets us choose a different type of header. And also has a text box for us to change the text that shows up. Now, if we go to styling, we're going to see the styling information on it. And then we're also going to see the ability to add events. An event is something that happens to that element that could be used to trigger some sort of logic to happen. And finally, we're going to see a data tab. A data tab gives us the ability to bind a specific element to a specific set of data that we want to give it. So if I was loading up a profile page, for example, I could put someone's name in a name field by binding their name from a builder data collection to that particular field. So we'll go over all of that later, but that's the 101 on elements inside of Builder.